Hey guys, welcome back. It's a girl Fanelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu. So if you're new on this channel, we on this channel I post reaction videos uh, to music, to music trailers, just anything that you guys uh, suggest, and sometimes just anything we find that's trending out there. So feel free to. Bring in your suggestions just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out so today i'm actually going to be reacting to my mother told my quran american convert story uh find our second youtube channel funny ngc 2.0 hit there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so without wasting time let's get into the video My Muslim name is Karima, and I'm from the United States. I'm 23 years old. My family was never religious growing up. My mother was always condescending towards organized religion, whilst my father was a full atheist. We never went to church or any place of worship growing up, but my mother always told me she would respect our decision to decide for ourselves. Well, cut to me suddenly believing in God out of pretty much nowhere in my teens. I was perhaps 15 or 16 years old. I had felt strongly agnostic until one day I truly believed in my Creator almost overnight. All praise be to Allah. That has kept with me ever since. I was in high school at the time in my world history class. We had a group assignment where we were designated to research a particular festival of certain religions. My group was tasked with Eid ul Adha. Since I'm someone who tends to pick up the slack in any group project, I ended up being the primary information gatherer for our assignment. Of course, I learned a lot from that assignment and fell in absolute love. I had only heard horrible things about Islam and never met Muslims before, so it was surprising to me. I thought to myself, I want to convert now. But I gave myself time to think it over and research other religions. But nothing came close. Everything seemed so man-made in comparison. I did research and on 14th February 2014 I walked home from school pulled out my handwritten Shahada transliteration and set it in front of my neighborhood Mormon church. I felt happy and nervous while taking Shahada because I knew I would be tested by Allah as a result. I began to learn prayers and fell in love with hijab quickly. I had a Quran and information at my fingertips. The problem was my parents. My mom said she would be supportive, but wasn't, especially in the beginning. She tore my Quran and my father called me terrible things. I couldn't practice in front of them for a long time, but I never gave up my faith in Islam. Now my mother does not agree still, but her heart gets softened a little more as time passes. My father is still very against it, but honestly, if Allah wills, he could be an even stronger Muslim than I someday. Islam has made who I am into a person who feels whole. I feel like my purpose is fulfilled through Islam and my heart is always filled with happiness towards Allah and His Messenger Islam fits with the nature of man. To me, the Quran, being unchanged and memorized by so many, is nothing but a miracle of God. Salah itself is such a uniting moment for so many Muslims. For me, being a Muslim is my nature. It's in my innermost soul and touches the smallest atoms of my body. I feel more at peace and less stressed about things I can't control. 
I feel as though I'm putting my life into God's hands before anything else. And to me, that is so freeing to answer to my creator and not let a man dictate my existence. I feel like I'm free to be me now. I thank Allah every day for it's a gift in my life. For those who think of reverting, few things bring me true peace. I only broke the cycle of pressure to society and man-made religion when I truly yielded to God and God alone. You lose nothing by connecting to the one who created you, beautiful as he willed you to be. Very interesting video. Um, I always say this about rivets, converts, rivets. Uh, that as long as you find something that's bringing peace, something that you're happy with, something that you're comfortable with, um, that all that is all that matters. It doesn't matter what the other person thinks, but it's hypocritical for a parent to say, "I will support you whatever with whatever religion you choose," and when you choose something, they're actually against it, you know, and. But parents are different. I really don't blame them. They grew up in a different age. You know, sometimes they are really, really trying to understand what we mean or what we're choosing or what we're going for in life. I feel like you just have to give someone time and they eventually come around. You don't have to force them to be part of it, you know, because like I said, they're from a different time, different thoughts, different way of doing things especially if they don't even believe in religion it's very very hard but at least it's important to know that the mother is softening when it comes to certain things in life you know towards her religion that she's practicing and it's good that she's found this space in islam the fact that she doesn't have to conform to society norms rules whatever it is is very very nice because society is crazy and sometimes you have to follow trends with society to keep up but how many times are we going to follow trends how many times are we going to do this do that just to keep up with what's happening in the world or you know with our neighbors it's just too much work too much going on too many things sometimes you just have to take a step back and be in your comfort zone as long as you don't feel that pressure from society anymore good and well you know and the fact that she's acknowledging that um she she is all about one god her creator and everything that's something many haven't recognized many haven't found in themselves to do many have um trouble discovering or just accepting it's interesting that um she's saying this you know she doesn't have to bow down to any man and by man it means people not man man it means people she doesn't have to bow down to man's rules earthly rules you know but she can she knows that in god there is something more than man could ever give her uh, let me know what you guys actually think about what i said in this video i always always enjoy these convert um videos and i'm glad i came across this so let me know what you think if there's anything you want me to react to drop the name or the link down below i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video